Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Mustafa and today I'm here with another video and today in this topic I just want to uh, talk about digestive system and digestive system is very important topic today that I'm going to talk about and it's about the food where it goes in and where we swallow in so how the food goes in so now this is how we talk about digestive system so you don't know um, the food goes in just eating but you should have known that one so the first topic now they say the human body we have two types of human body we have breathing system we have digestive system first of all i want to talk about digestive system so that you have to know the first thing that you have to know is that the digestion begins in your mouth that's the first thing you have to know and we have another parts of the digestive system are called only alimentary canal are the ones which goes in the food which pass through and, and some of the parts um, it also produces the juice so uh, an example uh, we have let me uh, mention the parts of the digestive system we have mouth or esophagus which also known as gullet or food pipe we have also liver we have also gallbladder we have stomach um, duodenum we have small intestine is also known as ilia we have large intestine is also known as colon we have rectum we have anus and anus is the side where we also remove our food so the digestion also ends in the anus so here we start the first topic about our body now here is it mouth so now the topic says that this note says that now the digestion of food begins in the mouth teeth breaks down the food in smaller pieces with which can be swallowed easily and the first digestive juice is also known as saliva so saliva it uh, it's also known as digestive juices where it begins salivary gland is also called it also is produces in the mouth because you have saliva in, in your mouth when you're eating to swallow okay in the mouth by the salivary gland saliva is useful that so now we have in um, three types of the saliva which are produces moisten the food making the food particles stick together into small round balls called um, bolluses and then the next one is the next type is makes the small round balls of food slippery thus easy to swallow and the other one is helps the digest starchy foods the tongue helps to mix the food with saliva and also force the bolluses into the gullet for swallowing so that was the first note of the mouth and then after the mouth it goes inside here inside your neck which also called that i also said esophagus is also known as garlic or food pipe so here it also says the note it is a tube con con connects the mouth and the stomach it passes through which food moves in a wave like manner from the mouth to stomach okay now we have stomach after the oesophagus it goes to the stomach it stays there for four hours so the stomach is is an elastic bag that stores food as we eat food can stay in the stomach for about three hours or as digestive digestion con continues in, in the stomach food is further broken down with the help of digestive juice produces um, by the wall of the stomach and then um, they forget to say oh, small intestine now small uh, from the stomach um, the food enters the upper side um, from small intestine called duodenum it also produces where well, it um, produces fats and oil called duodenum before it proceeds in the final of lower parts of small intestine called ileum. Other digestive juice 
from the liver and the pancreas <coughs> are added to food at the duodenum. This juice breaks breaks down the food further into smaller particles. Liver produces bile juice stored in the gallbladder while um, pancreas produces digestive juice in duodenum pancreas juice. The wall of small intestine produces um, inter, inter, intestinal juice which completes food digestion. Okay, that's the end of it. I have we have large intestine, large intestines also known as colon. The undigested food of small intestine passes into large intestine, and it absorb up it absorb also waters into the blood at the large intestine. After large intestine, it just go to the rectum, and the rectum is uh, is storing the food before we go to the anus and then when it reach in the anus you, um, we feel you need to go to the toilet so it, you need that you have to remove this food you just go to the toilet you just remove your waste products so we said the digestion begins in your mouth ends in the anus that's the first thing that I said and I'm also repeating to, to so that you don't forget <laughs> Okay, and there's some questions there. Okay. So that's the end of my topic today. And I'm going to continue reading the story. Uh, and then uh, I, I think I created another unit about planting. And then uh, you see how, how, it, uh, how, how it's going to describe. So I think I feel it's going to be interesting. So see you guys in the next episode.